This unit came in from a local shop. It's got some really interesting stuff going on. Number one, the sensors are missing and what looks like melted plastic. Looks like it dripped down the side of this part of the case. I mean, I've never seen anything like that. Um, it is a 2003 rear lube. I believe it's out of a van, I'm not sure. I can tell the pump stator is bad right off the rip. Needs a new pump. At least the stator, it's got a big cut in it. Uh, but let's, uh, it's the stinky one too, it smells terrible. Um, but let's get into it and see what, uh, what's going on with this, this thing here. Oh God, oh, that ain't good. Oh man, it smells terrible. God, oh, it smells so bad. This is gonna suck, man. Oh, I hear chunks rolling around in it. That ain't good. interested to see what's going, what's going on in this thing. I'm just not looking forward to the stank in the shop for days. Oh yeah, look at that man. Whew. <laughs> yeah, no. Oh wow. Okay. Well, let's see. There's this, okay. Was the catch on fire? Okay, I've. Wow. So, where's the neck to the filter? Is that this? Wow, look at that. <laughs> Lock the fucking shift solenoid. Jesus. I couldn't understand him very good. I don't speak Spanish. And like I said, it came from a God, look at the look at the electrical. I mean it gets new harness anyway, but man, this thing is gonna be I mean, come on. Seriously. <laughs> look at this. That's the back of the filter. There's the front. The felt's missing. Unless I don't man, that doesn't that makes zero sense. I mean, so that is melted plastic, it looks like. They can't, here's some aluminum, it looks like, or is that just silicone? It's silicone, well, I ain't gonna get hung up on it. Let's just keep, keep going and get it ripped down. If I can't even get it all the way apart, odds are it's gonna be totally just welded together on the inside with this much heat. I mean, come on. The loom disintegrated from the harness. I mean, there's the connector for the solenoid. So. Hey, the pan gasket might be good. Yeah, right. Yeah, I've never seen one quite got. I don't want to touch my sleeve, man. 
This is a nasty mother. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna cut that. I'm tired of dealing with this already, getting in my way. I'm just gonna cut all this crap. Just so I can get it out of my way. And it just keeps on giving. Good gravy. God, it smells so bad. Couldn't tell me any, I couldn't understand what he was saying, what was wrong with it. I mean, obviously it's just, I mean, look at the manifold pressure switch. It's melted. This thing, in order to do that, this thing had to be literally boiling transmission fluid to do this. I've seen them get bad really hot on other units, but never on a 4L ADE. I mean, for all I know, it's like a carpet van or something. Ugh. Yeah, gross. Yeah. I mean, if I'm guessing, I'm going to say it's not worth building. And he's just going to pay me the teardown fee. Unless he wants to come up with a core. I don't have any more 480 cores because all the LS swaps. I'm out. And I'm not going to buy one for 400 bucks. He can. There's some of the winding of one of the solenoids. Oh my God. Ugh, that smells so bad. I mean, look at that. Look at how hot the solenoids just smells. So the valve body, you know, are you gonna be able to reuse this? I mean, no. It's gonna have like molten plastic, I bet, through this whole thing in different little pockets where it, you know, God, wasn't even on there, where it like re-solidifies. Re yeah, normally that pops off of there, but uh, again, molten plastic. It's holding it on there. So the springs, if it got super hot, which it looks like it did, the springs should be collapsed. No, see, you've got the, the accumulators are totally melted inside of it. So, I mean, the valve body is totally shot. So the normally you'll have plastic accumulators in here. You need to switch them out for steel. But, uh, I mean, look. The spring is like, trying not to let it get me. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's just cause it's got melted plastic holding the spring in. I mean, it's coming, but, oh, there. So there's what's left of the uh, accumulator and where it re-solidified in the channel. Same with that one. I mean, yeah, the valve body is finished. There's no point in really even me doing what I'm doing to it other than to see how bad it is. Again, melted, re-solidified into the cavity. So it took that shape of the around. I mean, look at it. You can see where it melted and then it took shape of the cavity. So all that crap is gonna be all through here, rendering this complete garbage. Oh man, I 
I can't get through this one fast enough. Because I want this thing off my bench. God. Yeah, so no melted plastic solidification there. So let's, somebody's calling me, hang on. It's just because it's got melted plastic holding the spring in. I mean, it's coming, but oh, there. So there's what's left of the uh, accumulator and we're re-solidified in the channel. Same with that one. I mean, yeah, the valve body is finished. There's no point in really even me doing what I'm doing to it other than to see how bad it is. Again, melted, re-solidified into the cavity. So it took that shape of the around. I mean, look at it. You can see where it melted and then it took shape of the cavity. So all that crap is gonna be all through here, rendering this complete garbage. Oh man, I can't get through this one fast enough. Because I want this thing off my bench. God. Yeah, so no melted plastic solidification there. So let's, somebody's calling me, hang on. You watch, I'll tear the gloves. Cause I do not want this crap on my skin. Regular training fluid, I don't care. There's part of the solenoid, one of them. There's a servo, spring, jump, garbage, solidified plastic everywhere in this thing. All right. Oh, try not to let this crap Get near me. I don't know about you, but I think it's uh, finished. All right. Ah, get these center support bolts out. surprised if I can even get this thing apart to be honest I really I really will be <sighs> yeah I mean it's gonna I'm gonna need the puller probably I'm sure nope but I do need to get that off there I almost forgot god it's like melted to, is it even there yeah it's there Oh, I'm just getting ahead of myself because it smells so bad. I want it off my bench, man. Yeah, wow. Right. The pump's already bad. I mean, look at the cut on it around here. The splines are got a nice groove in them. And it's sheared off. Got melted plastic.
pump's finished. There's a huge gouge in it right here. I don't know why you can see it. It's gals real bad through there. Gear doesn't look bad, but this one definitely is. It's finished, which will mean the pump body is done. Oh yeah, pump pumps hit. The whole unit's gonna be like this. Just utterly destroyed. just chunks falling out. I know a check ball or two, but yeah, they're just chunks. Actually, I missed two balls. God, there's just big pieces of metal. Yeah, I haven't seen one this bad any transmission for a while. Oh, this is what's gonna suck is Okay, well, that came out easy. Shattered that off of there. The overdrive plant is seized onto there. I'll try and just not spin it at all. I mean, I'm sure it's shot, but let's just keep going and see what we get. I mean, if anything, whatever parts I can salvage out of it, if any of the hard parts are salvageable, then that way if he gets another transmission for me to build, but they'll probably just go to the salvage yard and get a used one if they can find one and run that. Yeah, it's done. I was going to say, surprisingly, it wasn't too bad here or here. I know it's discolored, but there's no grooving to it at all there or there around these ring lands. But there is a real bad, feels like sandpaper right here, which will mean the forward drum is going to be bad as well. Yeah, I can't even, it's just totally welded. I'll try and get it out with my air hammer just to, so we can uh, at least say that we, you know, hey, here's what's wrong with it. But sometimes I can't get it off with these even when they're real bad, but the planet's already finished. What's left of that, the overrun. So yeah, I mean, you can see it's just, I mean, finished. It's welded, oh, there. Was welded together. Got one good friction in it. Well, halfway good. The sprag totally exploded, melted, planet's done. This drum is done. Oh yeah, it's finished. And again, more of the pump problem, so the pump there's part of the uh, pump uh, washer to set your top end play, but it's finished, finished. So far, everything in it's garbage. Let's get the fourth clutch out of here. Finished metal to metal, no friction material, pressure plates wasted. 
this is actually cracked. I've seen this before where this will melt, but this piston is actually cracked and starting to melt. So it's also junk. And this is the forward clutch stack and the forward drum. Oh boy, this is, I can't even get my pick into it to get it out of there. Oh man. Come on. Man, it's not a good sign. God, I can't even get it started. Just to get the damn snap ring out. I wonder if it broke the uh, return spring for the clutch. Yeah, it's just totally welded together. Yeah, this should come out, you know, relatively easy. Ah, oh, yeah, I can't get that out of there. Uh, this one's gonna be a little more tricky to get apart. I mean, it's totally fused together. I'm trying to think how I could maybe get this apart to show you. Which I don't know if I'll be able to because there's nowhere to get my chisel onto it. Okay, my camera died. Typical GoPro overheating. I was able to get the clutches out of that drum. I just dropped it on the floor. The drum is bad. The only thing that's good in it is the hub. I can clean up with a wire wheel, the wavy plate. Um, top part of the hub is bad. Um, all the plates, they're not totally fried, but they're definitely bad. I mean, the molded piston, you won't reuse it anyway. Um, so, I mean, realistically, so far, the only good part in this thing that you could reuse is a wavy steel and the hub, potentially. Um, but, you know, who uses that? Let's see if we can uh, keep going before my... Uh, thing dies again. Hope it doesn't. Try and not let my camera die again. And this is where I'm worried I'm not gonna be able to get it out apart any further is from here. And it's not looking like I'm gonna be able to. It looks like it's totally seized to the band. And it's probably stuck onto the center support I'm sure. I can try and get this snap ring off of here. Let's see. And it's still trying to rotate. If I can get the snap ring off and get the plates out, I might be able to get a little bit of grip on it to try and pull it out. But the plates are probably, let's see. All right, there we go. Some of the plates at least. Yeah, it's just totally stuck. I'm gonna try a pry bar. See if I can get any movement out of it at all. but as much as I'd like. If I can get another bite on it again. God, it's just really locked in there, man. It's actually not the band. I think it's the center support or the intermediate uh, plates. Yeah. I mean, I know I have my cooler line in there still, but I mean, it's irrelevant. I'm not pulling the center support out. And besides that, there's a snap ring under it to get to. 
I was gonna try and get this out and then get the side uh, rear cooler out of it, but there's no point. Unless I can try and me. Try and like jar it. Yeah, because it's probably plastic holding it together again, or the support's totally fused to it. Looks like. like the splines maybe no it's not that Kind of trying to, like I said, jar it. See if I can loosen it. it. Ain't looking so good. I mean, there's the plates out of direct. They're smoked, welded, almost. Nothing left of them. I mean, even if I turn it up on its end, it's not really going to help me because the center support would be after this drum. I don't think there's any way, there's any cavity to get into. I mean, hitting with air ain't gonna do nothing. I mean, it's spinning. Ah. Oh God, the smell's like making me ill. <clears throat> Literally. It's, I don't know, it's either the plastic or the sprag because it is spinning both directions. I can feel a little bit, I don't feel it getting caught on any teeth unless it's the plates are just really that bad. But I can't feel it like coming out of one plate at all. It's like it's down all the way. See, and then right there, I can't turn it but either direction when it's like that. I had to get the camera off my head. But yeah, it's uh, definitely not going to come out of there. Uh, not by any easy means. Uh, the customer is going to have to bring me another unit. This thing is completely useless. Um, it's, it's not rebuildable. I mean, I still might be able to get that out of there, but you know, what's left, you got the rear planetary sections, center support. It needs that, it's gonna need that drum. It's gonna need the center support. Maybe the rear planets. I mean, you can even see, look at the, I don't know how well, probably not very good. Let's see if I can turn this flashlight on, this power brick. 
Like if you look at the windings in there from the uh, the solenoids or either of these sensors, I don't know. I just you know that's look at the molted plastic. You can look how bad it is on the inside. I mean, it's just totally stuck, and it's not on the band. You can see more congealed plastic down in there. You see it down there. I was knocking it loose. I mean, it could be just that, but it's not going to be worth my time to even keep going on this thing. Maybe to save the case someday if the customer abandons it. But other than that, it's finished. So, yeah. Bummer.